<laughs> Mr. Beast, we, we, don't, we no longer need philanthropy. We don't need you in exchange for views because you are still going to recover all your money from the views, you know, on the social media platforms. Uh, in exchange for views, now you're going to leave the, a, a lasting uh, image about Kenya that as regards to our, our situation. No, we are not a poor country. We, are, we have a lot. On Friday, Mr. Beast took Twitter to tease his up-and-coming video of the project, which exposed African leaders of corruption saying, we've spent over eight months working on tomorrow's video, and it's the greatest thing I've ever done, he teased. After teasing his video, Mr. Beast then dropped his video later on Saturday here on YouTube. The video shows Mr. Beast together with his team traveling across Africa in an effort to provide less fortunate communities, schools and clinics with fresh water, computers and bicycles. We built 100 wells in Africa, Mr. Beast said. 100 wells we're going to build in this video. They traveled to countries like Zimbabwe, Kenya, Uganda, Somalia and Cameroon. After posting his video, many social media users have trolled the YouTuber and accused him of using the struggles of underprivileged people for personal gain, questioning the legitimacy of this initiative. Francis Gaito said this. So there's a video circulating, uh, gaining a lot of traction, uh, and the conversation is growing about uh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast has or is planning to drill a hundred wells across Kenyan schools. I don't know where in. I saw he's even calling some place Nairobi, Nairobi. Uh, no, you can't even say Nairobi. Yeah, you understand what's wrong with these Muzungus? Eh? Uh, Muzungus are very disgusting. Eh? Uh, you know because we are trying to uh, project or we are trying to validate the stereotype that Kenya or Africa is a dark continent dependent on handouts dependent on philanthropic interventions I would have a, he's promoting as if we are a poor country we are not a poor country factually America is the problem as regards to extending the uh, the streak of poverty America is the biggest problem because they are the ones who uh, who who launder proceeds of crime in your banking systems you understand eh? America is part of the problem and you Mr. Beast are not supposed to be coming here to validate some of these long-held stereotypes uh, stereotypes and narratives that oh africa is a dark continent ah africa is poor no we are not poor we are we are the richest continent on earth and what do you do if you are really genuine you should be going back there and uh, uh, doing your activism reaching out to and even talking about these issues to your uh, to your leaders because joe biden donald trump they have embraced the corrupt kenyan leadership they are very uh, for other reasons they talk about security they talk about what they talk about terrorism but it's never about our interests so the, the people who have uh, crea uh, created the imbalance, the people who have caused poverty to become a way of life in Kenya, it, it, my, the, most of the responsibility is the Western governments, is the Western regimes. They are the ones who get... Uh, who, who have uh, who have uh, created a camaraderie with the corrupt African leadership, uh, so so that our money ends up there. Also, secondly, uh, trade barriers which have been uh, uh, implemented by the American regime. You understand? These these are things which are hurting us, Kenyans and Africans by extension. We need trade, not aid. Eh? We need a hand up, not a handout. You understand? So these balls you are digging, the Kenyan government, the even the smallest fund allocation to is called the constituency De development fund can handle it in fact uh, the, the, now those schools the, the, the parents of those schools uh, the parents and the citizenry of the kenyan republic are, are, are fond of uh, and you never took the time to even research they are they, they are paid they are bribed with ten dollars ten dollars by politicians to vote for the the most corrupt the most toxic the most yeah the, the dumbest of the of the crop and then now uh, it's, it's, it's always about philanthropy and you can see the kids there complaining and this cycle you know you are, uh, mr beast is only uh, redefining the ngo interventions we've had even here ngos for many years who have been engaged in similar interventions but the, the problems are still uh, persisting you know 30 years 50 years down the line so what is the problem the problem is our money our productivity is still extracted by the western uh, capitals western regimes hey, you you should be going there using your platform your big platform mr beast to tell joe biden that he is part of the problem hey, mr beast we we don't we no longer need philanthropy we don't need you in exchange for views because you are still going to 
to recover all your money from the views you know on the social media platforms uh, in exchange for views now you're going to leave the, a, a lasting uh, image about kenya that as regards to our, our situation no we are not a poor country we are we have a lot of resources we have staff we, we, we export coffee to america and stuff like that in fact they are every day they are creating more trade barriers to make access of our products difficult and so that you guys are still benefiting you're still gaining from the imbalance and then you come to throw us those handouts here and then you make a big eh, charade a, me, a big media frenzy over here and then you know most of the kenyans cannot be able to relate so the problem is the western regimes you should use your platform to go and tell joe biden and donald trump to eh, and all the the government officials over there that they are the ones who are laundering money they are the ones who are banking money which has been stolen from our country and instead of banning these officials instead of confiscating and finding a way to return that money to the kenyan people they are still entertaining they are still eh? they, are, they, are, they are having uh, this brotherhood they are having this camaraderie which is uh, at the end of the day coming at our eh? at our at our expense in response to the negativity the youtuber tweeted I already know I'm going to get cancelled because I uploaded a video helping people. And to be 100% clear, I don't care. I'm always going to use my channel to help people and try to inspire my audience to do the same. Despite being criticized, many other fans have applauded Mr. Beast for his efforts to make the lives of those who are underprivileged easier. On my opinion, let me say that the fact that the American-based YouTuber Mr. Beast built all those wells without any publicity from the media should tell you a thing or two. Our political leaders walk with cameras launching toilets and already existing projects. If they are trying so much to show that they are working, then they're not working. It's that simple. Mr. Beast showed us how embarrassing our African governments are. They'll give every possible excuse in the book why it cannot be done just so they can steal the money. Anyway, what do you think about this video? Subscribe and give us your thoughts on the comment section below.